What's up everyone, my name is Nick and I live in the most beautiful city of Malaysia, Kuching. And today I'll be telling you about 20 interesting historical facts about this city here in Sarawak. Now without any further ado, join me on my walk through the city as I tell you all about it. Let's go, this is Global Given. I'm standing in front of the Gurdwara Sahib here in Kuching and this is a place of worship for the Sikh people. The building was originally built in 1912 and every Sikh living in Kuching had to give at least one month of their salary for the funding of the building. Later in the 80s, this building was renovated and this is the current Gurdwara Sahib of Kuching. A hundred years ago, this was a swamp. And back in 1920, they reclaimed this piece of land from the swamp and turned it into a park called the Esplanade. It had many little pathways and even a bandstand. Later, this became Padang Merdeka. More than 100 years ago, the first wireless station was built in Kuching and it was built about 200 meters behind me at the St. Joseph School, where the current St. Joseph School is. And the first wireless message was sent in October 1916 and this wireless message was sent to Penang and Singapore. Behind me, a beautiful building, the General Post Office of Kuching. It was originally built in 1931, almost a hundred years ago. And did you know that before this building was built, it used to be a police station? And this is where the horses of the Raja stayed. This was the Raja stable. I am now at the old courthouse. And before this was a courthouse, back in 1840, a German reverend built a church here. But when the church was finished, it was completed, he had to leave back to Germany. Brook then took over this building and turned it into the Hall of Justice. A businessman called Mr. Wee Kang Chiang founded many banks here in Kuching, including a bank that is now part of the CIMB Bank. And in 1935, he founded the United Chinese Bank, and I believe it was founded right there in that building. And that bank later became the UOB Bank, the United Overseas Bank that you probably have heard of. I am now standing on the oldest street in Kuching and the first Chinese settlers that came here called this street the Hai Chun Street which literally translates to the lips of the sea and now this is called Main Bazaar and this is the oldest street in all of Kuching. Back in 1895 Two lakes were dug out in Kuching to serve as a water reservoir and that resulted in Kuching being the second town in Malaysia to have direct pipe water supply for its residents. Did you know that Kuching was not the first capital of Sarawak? The first capital of Sarawak was called Santubong and it was founded by a local sultan in 1599. In the 1820s, a town called Lida Tana was founded, which then became the capital of Sarawak for a short period. And in 1827, the city of Kuching, or the town of Kuching at that time, was founded and that became the capital of Sarawak. This is the square tower of Kuching. Originally, this building was built as a detention center for prisoners. It later became a fort and even later it became a dancing hall during the Brook era. 
The building was originally built in 1879 and it has stories of prisoners, dancers, and now it's a restaurant. The Raja of Sarawak, James Brooke, had a library in his house which could be considered as the first library of Sarawak. Unfortunately, during the Bau Rebellion of 1857, his house and therefore his library was completely burnt down and many, many books were lost. Behind me there, you can see the Astana. That building was originally built by Charles Brooke as a gift for his wife, Margaret. And in the early 1900s, there were many festive balls organized there, with many people dancing and having a lot of fun. Originally, this building was called the Government House. A very interesting historical fact to me is that on Christmas Eve of 1941, a Dutch submarine was laying off the coast of Sarawak, about 65 kilometers from Kuching, and it shot down, it torpedoed a Japanese destroyer. And this was the first Japanese destroyer that was destroyed in the Pacific during the Second World War. All right, well, I can't make it all the way to Kuching Airport, but I've got an interesting historical fact about the airport here. The airport was officially opened on the 26th of September 1938, which means the airport here in Kuching is almost 100 years old. And originally, there were only two grass landing strips of about 800 meters long. Interesting fun fact. Across the river, right over there, behind those trees, that is where the famous Fort Margarita lies. And it was built in 1879, and a fun, well, perhaps not that fun, but definitely historical fact is that that is the place where they used to uh, execute prisoners. There is even a hatch that you can still see with a skull on it, and this is where they drop the prisoners to be hung. Dun, dun, dun! Also known as the Siu San Teng Temple, this is the Tua Pek Kong Temple of Kuching. It is the oldest temple in the whole city and it was built in the 1840s. Are you still watching? If you are, please click that like and leave a comment. All right, let's continue. Did you know that the first ice factory in Kuching opened in 1898? Yes, that is over 120 years ago. And back then, a pound of ice only cost two cents. Now that's a cold bargain. So you might be wondering, Nick, why are you running through the jungle in the middle of Kuching at Reservoir Park? Well, this, this is the site of the original Kuching prison that was built in 1882. Now, nothing much is left over and the jungle is taking back the building as the building was demolished in 2010. Back in 1870, the first hotel of Kuching opened somewhere here and it was called the Rajas Arm. The Rajas Arm only opened for about five or six years and it was then sold off to the Raja of Sarawak for about $3,000. And the Raja of Sarawak turned it into the Sarawak Club. Some of the original committee members of the Sarawak Club included Mr. Brody and a Mr. Crocker. And another fun fact is that that Mr. Crocker is actually my wife's great-great-grandfather. The Sarawak Club originally opened in 1876 and it was the first ever private member club in all of Malaysia. It served as a club and as a lodging house. Whew, what a day! Well, I guess that's about it. I had so much fun researching all these interesting facts. 
about the history of Kuching and I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, please click that like button. If you have any other fun and historical facts that you know, leave them in the comments down below. I think that's it. It's sweaty, it's hot. I gotta get out of here, out of the sun. But this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.